It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. I was literally about to throw a movie on, relax, and probably pass out for the night, and I saw the homie Joyner Lucas drop something called 17. We got to dive in. I, I've been waiting for this album to drop. I know that it got delayed, I believe, over some samples or something, so I don't know if he's updated w w what's happening with that or when we should expect it, but I'm happy that we got another new track because, in my opinion, this man is one of the best rappers that's out right now. I just feel like his delivery, his flow switches... His lyrics especially, all top tier. Like, everything he does is amazing. His storytelling, probably one of the best that's, that's ever been in rap, in my own personal opinion. And I feel like if he can keep going, the longevity's there, he's going to be one of the greatest. That's just my opinion. So let's dive in. Let's see what this one's all about. Rest in peace, Mac Miller. Yeah. <coughs> Johnny. Yeah. Johnny. Learn. I used to pray for shit like this when I was 17. Okay. Hit the block and made a plan. I hope it set me free. Uh -huh. Turn that girl into a freak. <laughs> Wait, I'm so I wasn't gonna laugh, but there was a girl in the background and she she was trying to like it just it just looked really awkward. Hold up. Learn. Learn. I used to pray for shit like this when I was 17. Okay. Hit the block and made a plan. I yeah, I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. Hold up. We got to go full screen for a second. Look at this girl right back here. Watch watch what she does as this comes in. I, lo I love her, by the way. I don't know who it is. Shout out to you. I'm not hating. I <laughs> Yo, you just, it seemed like she was very unsure of her movements, but she she wanted to really be about it, though. Okay. Hit the block and made a plan. I hope it set me free. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, I like this song already right off the bat. I like this whole pray for this when I was 17. A lot of us had dreams when we were 17. Not a lot of us continue to chase them, though, as we got older. It's unfortunate, right? Responsibilities, things like that kind of get in the way, and you lose track of that, that, that thing that you really wanted as a kid. And I, I didn't, I mean, I'm happy I'm doing YouTube, but this wasn't something I wanted back then because I didn't really, I don't even think YouTube, yeah, it definitely didn't exist. It existed shortly after I graduated, but I didn't really understand YouTube for decade after it came out probably uh, turn that girl into a freak she thought she never be if she ain't with no freaky shit then she ain't meant for me i just hit a lick and made a flip and bought me seven peas caught the whip i had a stun on haters rest in peace glad i made it out of bricks i thought i'd never leave never knew that getting rich or made me enemies crazy how i look up to my idols not each other me for relationships i need a bitch to cause some check with me I, feel, I liked, ooh, I like the flow switch. I like that. If you ain't like me, I hope you keep that. Yo, we're going to go back a little bit. This whole thing is a vibe. This whole this whole track is going to be a vibe. I like this. Johnny. Yeah. Johnny. Learn. I used to pray for shit like this when I was 17. Okay. Hit the block and made a plan. I hope it set me free. Uh -huh. Turn that girl into a freak. She thought she never be. If she ain't with no freaky shit, then she ain't meant for me. I just hit a lick and made a flip and bought me seven peas. Kind of whip that had a stun on haters rest in peace. Shit, I be dreaming about, I be living it. Hey, Jump out the window and take the advantage. I know my potential is limitless. Never respected a fuck nigga popping that shit and then running the internet. Hey, running your mind when I'm running the check up. I feel like my money's unlimited. I bet that shit kind of funny, not isn't it? I know that karma don't come with a benefit. Whoa. I got no faith in a new generation of rappers are fucking illiterate. Whoa. I know that time and there's money. I know how to watch and the suckers I spend it with. I don't need love with my gun as a tenant. If you want to start it, then fuck it, I finish it. I don't See, what I really respect about him is he comes up in this era of, of like, he's, there's a lot of rappers that really just they're not really lyrical they don't have the writing behind them it's more so just about like y'all could vibe and 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 like which is cool does that music could be dope at times when, they, when it, there's a reason for i mean i'm not i'm not saying that there's not but to me this is this is what rap is all about rap is about saying shit it's about speaking on things it's about storytelling it's not about talking about the latest drug that you sold and the latest molly that you popped as you dance in the club. Like, it's just, it's really not to me. To me, that should almost be a different genre than rap. Like, there should be, this is rap, and and, and, what I, and then that's, like, something else. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. But don't come with a benefit. Whoa. I got no faith in a new generation of rappers are fucking illiterate. Whoa. I know that time and there's money. I know how to watch it. I suck as I spend it with. I don't need love with my gun as a tenant. If you want to start it, then fuck it. I finish it. I know that all of you crips is targets. I got to push the margin. I tell my hoe I don't need you. I'm going to be good regardless. Shaping the hood. 
hood apartments. I did my dirt and they took the charges. You wanna smoke and I wish to spark it. They never knew I was good at arson. Even when nobody got me, fuck it, I got me though. Who am I supposed to look up to when I grew up on the Cosby show? Who am I supposed to fuck to now that a nigga won't listen to Kells? Crazy with niggas and did it himself. Damn, love. I used to pray for shit like this when I was 17. Hit the block and made a plan, I hope it set me free. Turn that girl into a freak, she thought she'd never be. If she ain't with that freaky shit, then she ain't meant for me. Crazy how I look up to my idols, now they check for me. Fuck relationships, I need a bitch to count some check with me. Some money, I really just call me a vibe. Yeah. Took back the foreign and bought the DeLorean. I think I'm Marty McFly. Woo, bro, I love this track. This is fire. This is fire. That freaky shit, this shit ain't meant for me. Crazy how I look up to my idols, not in check for me. Fuck relationships, I need a bitch to count some check with me. I don't need no hold to blow my phone and keep on pressing me. If you never like me, I just hope you keep that energy. I woke up this morning and made me some money. I really just call me a vibe. Yeah. Took back the foreign and bought the DeLorean. I think I'm Marty McFly. To the year with these pussy ass niggas, they want me alive. Now I got a bed full of baddies, don't know who I'm fucking, it's hard to decide. They be like, how do you do it? I told them it's easy to quit, but it's harder to try. I do the shit for the days that a nigga was walking, ain't nobody off no ride. I had a fan for myself, and I know when to talk to when niggas was talking to God. I never been one to talk to the cops, a lot of these niggas be talking a lot. But why don't I fuck with none of these niggas? They really be pressing my buttons. Yeah, I came a long way, but I still go backwards. That's worth it to Benjamin Button. If I give you an order, you better get two of little bitches to end a discussion. Oh, if you get on my bed and you fucking, God ain't give you the best for nothing. I hope you lower your tone when you talk. Talking to Jordan, don't ever get loud with me. Yeah. I never cared about nothing as much as I cared about my mama was proud of me. Whoa. I'm from a city where niggas and shit on me, spit on me, they go say hi to me. Smile on my face, stab my back, but honestly, ain't no surprise to me. Yeah. Hey, I used hey, to pray hey. for shit like this when, when I was 17. I love Hit this. The block and made a plan, I hope it set me free. Turn that girl into a freak, she thought she'd never be. Oh, yeah. And she ain't with that freaky shit that she ain't meant for me. Crazy how I look up to my idols, not in check for me. Fuck relationships, I need a bitch to count some check with me. That's some real shit. I can I I love that. That that hook is catchy. Oh, look at some So okay, this is cool because you know this is probably some real shit. Like he brought a bunch of people together, fans and stuff that wanted to be in the video, and some man took it. He's like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna propose to my girl during and they got that on the camera, they got it in the video. Shout out to him. That's actually really, really dope that they got that forever solid yeah, I, I was gonna say solidified. I don't know what word I'm looking for, but it's it's forever in this video they can always go back and see that moment Ooh, those drinks look good oh i want a snack now stop playing with me This was dope. This was extremely dope. I, I really, really enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed this. Shout out to Joyner. It's like, he's just such a good artist in the sense that like, it's not even about making the most complex punches, although he can do that, the doubles, the triples and stuff like that. It's just his way of rhyming and getting to the point of what he's trying to say, it's it's always perfectly done. The rhyming words, it's always a perfect choice of words and, and things to get to the to the thing that he wants to say to you. Like his vocabulary is is elite. And uh, he's, he's extremely intelligent. You could just tell by the way that he writes and stuff like that. So I, I really rock with this. I remember hearing him back in the day. I don't remember what year it was, but it was something on Facebook. And it was before I, I was I assume it's before he blew up. But I, I don't know when he initially blew up, to be honest, because there was a lot of lot, lot of years where I, I didn't listen to a lot of music from like 2012, 2013 or 2014, right around that period to like 2018, 2019. When I started doing reactions, I didn't listen to much of anything. But I remember finding him a while back and maybe it was in that period. Maybe it was before on Facebook. And there was a video he did where he talked about like being the five, I think it was happy birthday. Where it's like he doesn't like his kid or something, and he's talking about how he's like saying mad wild shit to the cows. Like, yo, this shit is crazy, bro. Like, this man's taking a risk making a song like this. Not to say that's how he really felt, but just doing that storytelling. Some people are gonna watch it and just inevitably think like, oh, this dude's a dickhead. You know what I'm saying? Because he was saying so wild shit, but it's 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 real emotions that happen that people have. It's real. It's it's a real life thing that happens, and and I like how he speaks on stuff like that. And I remember watching that and thinking like, yo, this dude is disgustingly good. Like his writing and story is re 
ridiculous. And then I never really heard much about him because I didn't I didn't check much stuff out. And then all of a sudden I saw him on an Eminem track, The Lucky You. And I'm like, yo, that's that same dude. I was like, okay, so he made it, made it. Like, that's crazy. And then I, I, we've gone back, obviously listened to a lot of his stuff. And I've been a big fan ever since. And I, I, I jump on reactions as soon as we possibly can. That last thing that he did, was it called Broski? Was re, like, come on now. Give this man his roses while he's here. Because he deserves them. He definitely deserves them. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about this. New music for myself has been dropping every single week. I, you know, I was going to plug it real quick. Link will be down below. You'll probably see something at the end of this. But a song drops at midnight and comes out tomorrow called King with me and the homie Banksy. So if you guys want to check it out, I do appreciate you. But regardless, we're here for the reactions as always. I'll catch you in the next one, homies. I don't believe in the future, so I just look to my past life. I take all the lessons I've learned, and then I create me a moment you can't write. It's different than dreams, it's different than wishing for shit that you see. It's something you build, you gotta shed tears, and if you gon' live it, accept that you'll bleed. This ain't a drill, that's just a beat. This shit is real, cause that's what you need. This is the pill, that is the seat. Take you a moment before you concede. I got a lot of shit waiting on change, but every day wake up and do it the same. I'm sick of my mind, it's out of control. I thought it was fine, but that was a phase. I mean, it's like, I got a chance, why would I blow it? It's all that I have.